Yeah, and so this scene three here, right, this really goes against all of our popular narratives, our popular stories, and our most sacred sort of educational stories or enlightenment stories, right? That there is always one person, right? They might be considered crazy. They might be considered criminal. They might be considered godly. They might be considered heroic, etc. But there's always one person that gets out, right? That sees things for what they are, right? And is able, you know, is able to to get out, right? Or wants to escape, has the desire to escape, right? But in Plato's tale, you know, being the theater guy that he is, right? He knows about storytelling, right? And he knows that's what everyone assumes, right? And so he takes that out, right? So masterful piece of storytelling there, right? But again, what do we think about it, right? Is this, is this logical? Is this true, right? Are we not as heroic as we we think, um, or same point is the cave, you know, just really, really cool, right? That's sort of the matrix idea, right? Um, yeah, and so we have the prisoner forced out, right? Uh, and, then, and then is able to see the sun itself in its own place and to study it, the classic uh, rational, uh, you know, analytic move there, right? So we can see the thing in itself. We can now see true reality, right, in a three-dimensional complex way. We're looking at, you know, what we need to be look at. And now we can study it, right? So again, notice, you know, that Plato is not talking about any type of utopian move there, right? Yeah, you get enlightened, you can see a greater truth, but it's not like you have the truth, okay? And it's always a question, uh, even with Plato, right, and Socrates, of whether we can ever get to something like the truth, right? Um, that we're, you know, are we always, uh, you know, we're always in a process of trying to get to a deeper truth, uh, a better truth, if you will. But hey, it's incremental, and whether we ever get there is another question um, about it, right? Um, and then um, here, right, um, you know, we talked about this before, scene eight, right? Don't you think that... Uh, and the person who gets enlightened, the prisoner who gets enlightened, would count himself happy for the change and pity the others? Well, I don't know. Let me play devil's advocate or let me play Deadpool 2, right? And go meta on it here, right? I don't know. Uh, you know, is that is that naturally what we feel when we become enlightened? Let me help others, 